Merry Christmas. I don't know where this day finds you, if you're at home or traveling, if you're with family and friends, or if you're just chilling by yourself. But I just wanna say Merry Christmas. I'm glad you're joining us today. Today is the day that we celebrate Jesus' birthday. And it's a miraculous birth. We wanna talk about miracles today. It was foretold by prophets, and yet it seemed to take everyone by surprise when he, when he finally was born. He was unnoticed by the spiritual elite, but the shepherds noticed, so the wise men. King Herod noticed Jesus was born, and elderly worshipers in the temple noticed they were very aware of Jesus' birth. We celebrate Jesus' birth by worshiping him, and he is the one who he didn't stay a baby in the manger, but he grew up to fulfill the mission that God sent him here for. He is the savior of the world. So let's worship together with some of our friends from Hope and Life Church. I love the words of this song. Oh, come all ye faithful, bow before our savior. Come let us adore the one who came for us. Glory in the highest, praise the name of Jesus, our king has come. Oh, come let us adore him, for he alone is worthy. Our King has come. Our King has come. Oh, give him all the glory. Let's worship together. You ready? Here it goes. Oh, come on, ye faithful. Bow before our Savior. Come, let us adore the one who came for us. Glory in the highest. Praise the name of Jesus, our King is God. Sing that again. Oh, come all ye faithful, come before our Savior. Come, let us adore the one who came for us. Glory in the highest, praise the name of Jesus, our King. film Olaf's Frozen Adventure. Olaf the Snowman is looking for Christmas traditions. And if you haven't seen it yet, this is a spoiler a spoiler alert, sorry about that. <laughs> but one family gives Olaf a fruitcake. But then that fruitcake is stolen by a hawk. 
after many wolf attacks, runaway sleds, and fires, Olaf and everyone is back together again and they're rejoicing and celebrating Christmas. When suddenly that same hawk flies overhead and drops that fruitcake right on poor little Olaf's head. And he says the immortal line, the fruitcake, it's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> and today, I know that's just for fun, but I want to talk to you about the real Christmas miracle. So that's the title of my message today. It's a Christmas miracle. I'm going to read part of the Christmas story from the Bible and part of Jesus, the story of Jesus' birth. And as we do it, see, as, as you listen to me read, See if you can find all four miracles just in this part of the story alone. And then a little bit later, we're going to talk about another miracle. So this is Matthew chapter 1, verses 18 to 25. This is how Jesus the Messiah was born. His mother, Mary, was engaged to be married to Joseph. Actually, it was a betrothal, so it's a little bit more intense than even just an engagement. But before the marriage took place, while she was still a virgin, she became pregnant through the power of the Holy Spirit. Joseph, to whom she was engaged, was a righteous man, and he did not want to disgrace her publicly, so he decided to break the engagement quietly. As he considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. Joseph, son of David, the angel said, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. For the child within her was conceived by the Holy Spirit, and she will have a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All of this occurred to fulfill the Lord's message through his prophet. Look, the virgin will conceive a child. She will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph woke up, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded and took Mary as his wife. But he did not have a union with her <laughs> until, she, uh, until her son was born. And Joseph named him Jesus. Did you catch the four miracles? Could you list them right now? Okay, here they are. Mary became pregnant by the power of the Holy Spirit. That's the first miracle. She became pregnant by the power of the Holy Spirit. She had never been married, if you know what I mean. It was impossible for her to have a baby as a virgin. And yet God overturned the laws of nature. And by the power of his Holy Spirit, Mary conceived and brought forth a son named Jesus. And Jesus wants to bring forth his life in you. The second miracle I saw in this part of the story is that Jesus will save his people from their sins. Ever since Adam and Eve sinned in the Garden of Eden, every one of us has been born a sinner. It, it's, it's your condition. It's like your nationality. You didn't do anything to achieve your nationality other than just being born. Uh, and yet, even though you cannot change your nationality on your own, uh, if you apply, a government can adopt you into their country and you can actually take on a new nationality. And that's what Jesus does for you. When you put your faith in Jesus to forgive you uh, from your sins, to save you from your sins, he adopts you into the family of God. Jesus paid the penalty for your sins so that you don't have to be separated from God anymore. Jesus wants to transform your identity. So there's a miracle at Christmas, but there's a miracle for you now. Jesus wants to transform your identity. Third miracle I saw, Emmanuel, God with us. That is a miracle. Let's not blow by that. Sin separates us from God, and our relationship with God has never been the same since uh, that face-to-face -face time, that face-to-face -face relationship that, that Adam and Eve had with God in the Garden of Eden. There's another scripture in the Bible in John chapter 1, verse 14, that says, So the word Jesus became human and made his home among us. 
He was full of unfailing love and faithfulness. And we have seen his glory, the glory of the Father's one and only Son. Wow. Jesus wants to walk with you today by his Spirit every day, 24-7. There's a fourth miracle I see. Joseph changed his mind about Mary and the baby. I mean, that's a miracle. Joseph was a righteous man. He was betrothed to Mary. So that means they had had a legally binding ceremony. And in the custom of their day, they would not immediately come and live together. Joseph then goes to build a house and prepare a place for them to live as a family before they will have the full wedding ceremony. So they did not live together yet. No honeymoon yet. And now Mary was pregnant with someone else's baby. She was carrying the Son of God. Joseph decided to discreetly divorce Mary. But he listened to the angel who spoke to him in a dream. He believed God's message, even though it was such an incredible message. And, And he stayed with Mary and he committed to raise her son as his own. Wow! That's a miracle. And in the same way, Jesus wants to change the trajectory of your life to bring God glory. Jesus is a miracle working God. And what's impossible for you is possible for him. You might feel like giving up, but God's word, the Bible says in Romans chapter eight, no, despite all these things, overwhelming victory is yours through Christ who loved us. And I don't know what you need in your life right now, but I just want to pray for a miracle for you. Would you pray with me? And if you need a miracle, would you call out to God while I pray for you? Lord, I just pray for everyone who's a part of this this program today, a part of this live stream today. And Lord, I pray for miracles. Lord, your word says that overwhelming victory is ours through Christ. And so, Lord, I pray for overwhelming victory for the people who are who are a part of this, uh, this live stream right now. Lord, I pray, Lord, in Jesus' name, for the person who needs a miracle healing of some type in their body. Lord, I pray for miracles. Lord, I pray that you would just uh, take away diabetes, that you would take away back pain, that you would take away brain problems, heart problems. Lord, I pray, Lord, in Jesus' name, that you heal bodies, that you would stop seizures. Lord, I pray that you would give give people a new lease on life. Lord, I pray for the person who feels like giving up today. And Lord, I pray in Jesus' name, you would do a miracle change in their heart, Lord. Lord, I pray that you would give them hope uh, for the person who just feels hopeless or feels depressed today. Lord, I pray that you would turn it around, that you would bring your light into their life, Lord God. I pray for a Christmas miracle right now that you would change lives, that you would heal bodies, that you would restore marriages, Lord, where it seems like there's no hope for the person who's always wanted to be married and that just hasn't happened yet. Lord, I pray that you bring that spouse into their life, Lord, a godly, uh, Jesus-believing, Jesus-committed spouse, Lord. And Lord, I, I pray that you would do miracles, Lord. I pray that you would bring jobs for the person who needs a job. Lord, I pray you bring finances for the person who is just overwhelmed with debt or, or not sure how they're going to pay for all the, the expenses that are in front of them. Lord, in Jesus' name, I pray for miracles, uh, not only at Christmas, but in the days to come, Lord. Lord, we need you. And Lord, I pray for your blessing in every life, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. There's one more miracle I wanna pray for you. And I I don't know if you've ever put your faith in Jesus, but I wanna invite you today to put your faith in Jesus and he will save you from your sins. And that is a miracle. He will change your identity from lost to found, from outside to inside the family of God. Wow, that is a miracle that I just really want for you if you have not experienced that miracle. I want to invite you to a life as an apprentice of Jesus, following Jesus, being with him, praying to him, letting him lead you. How do you do that? Turn away from your sin, turn your life over to Jesus, and let him lead. And if you're at that place today where you would like to to put your faith in Jesus, I want to just lead you in a prayer. And you know, it would be cool. I don't know who all is watching with you, but it would just be so cool if everyone just gets quiet for a moment, maybe even join hands. 
and and let's pray together and I, i'm just gonna lead you so just pray out loud after me here we go let's let's pray together say this to jesus jesus i invite you into my life i acknowledge i'm a sinner please forgive me of my sins and make me new i choose to follow you starting today and i'll be your apprentice in jesus name amen amen and if you prayed that prayer welcome to the family of god and i don't know if you feel anything sometimes people feel all emotional sometimes people feel excited sometimes you might feel like crying or sometimes you might feel nothing at all but i can tell you this when you pray that prayer jesus answered it your sins are forgiven you are new the old you is gone the new you has begun you have a new identity in jesus christ and i, I don't want to just leave you hanging you know don't leave me hanging i don't want to leave you hanging so we have prepared for you the following jesus course and if you have put your faith in jesus uh, uh, recently or today just now or if you you've never really been discipled as a follower of jesus i want to encourage you to take the following jesus course you can go right now to our website hopeandlife.net and you can i uh, just you see the button right right there at the top following jesus click just click on following jesus you can download a free ebook right there on the website or stop by the following jesus table in the lobby here at church and we'll give you a paper copy uh, as well as some other things to help you follow jesus wow it's it's been great to be together even for this short time today uh, i hope you're having a merry christmas and uh, I, I want to invite you to our service on New Year's Day. It's a Sunday, a week from now. Our service is a little bit later at 11 o'clock. But I want to invite you to just come a little early for coffee and donuts. And I'll be looking for you then. Until then, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.